Good morning, class. It's Resurrection Sunday, and uh, I, I have the pr distinct privilege to be your teacher today. Uh, I'm honored to be your teacher, to sit in place, to sit in place as a substitute today. Uh, we're going to have a short class, but we're going to give honor and glory to uh, the Lord Jesus. It's uh, when when He died for us, when His death, the burial, and the, His resurrection. It's just amazing that uh, we we get the privilege to uh, hear that. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and start, and, and we're going to pray for one another, uh, lifting up everyone before Jesus. So l just take a moment and pray with me. Lord Jesus, we, we're going to lift up the world and, and the country, and every country, every community, municipality, and uh, the rulers that be. God, we're going to lift them up today and ask for a hedgerow of protection. Everyone who is diagnosed with COVID-19 and the corona, we do ask for a, a speedy recovery for each soul. God, let, let, let the symptoms, let the, let the pain subside, and God, let it go away. In the name of Jesus, ask for every country. God, let, although there may be barriers and there may be uh, this and that that keeps, uh, that's set up as a, uh, as a barrier, uh, not getting your gospel forth, ask you to supernaturally let your gospel go forth and uh, let there be confidence and uh, reassurance uh, in this time. In Jesus' name, a special blessing upon every pastor in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, uh, well, uh, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story about, uh, about something. I need you to think about it. Uh, there's some grisly details about death in the death, the burial, and the resurrection. And just think about it for a minute. And we're going to dig in. We're going to dig in with the first story. Uh, so the following story is based on a true account from Who Switched the Price Tags by Anthony Campello. Who Switched the Price Tag? Many years ago during a war, a young lieutenant was sent uh, to lead a group of new recruits into battle. Although he was young, the lieutenant was courageous, intelligent, and very responsible. One night, his company was overtaken by the enemy. The company is, in a military sense of the word, means troops or band, uh, band of brothers, a limited number of men, a definite number of men. Leading his company, uh, it was overtaken by an enemy. The young lieutenant managed to get all but one of his men to safety. While crouched in their foxholes, the soldiers heard the wounded man moaning and begging for help. And everyone knew that to go to his aid meant certain death. Eventually, the young leader crawled out of his safe place to rescue the dying man. Just as he pushed his wounded friend into the trench, the brave leader was shot and died instantly. Months later, when the saved man returned home, the parents of the dead hero invited him to dinner. They wanted to meet the man who their son died to save. The guest was not like they expected at all. He was rude, loud, and, and told crude jokes. He did not express any thanks for their son saving his life. When the ungrateful man left, his mother broke down in complete distraught and collapsed in tears. She said, I cannot believe our precious son died for someone like that. You know, words like ungrateful, kind of like the worst of the worst, to be totally ungrateful. The, the young lieutenant was the best of the best. The man he saved was the worst of the worst. And this compares directly to how Jesus died for us so we, we do give glory and honor to the Lord for uh, there's no other greater love than a man laid down his life for his friends even before the foundations of the world God had in, in, in his infinite wisdom in mind an attribute to who he is God is all victorious and even in the free will of Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden God still provided a way even before the foundation started. And we do remember that we're built upon the foundation that 
prophets, the apostles, doctrine, and Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. So God's still providing a foundation. And the death, the burial, and the resurrection, we're celebrating today the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So yet He did die. And we're going to dig in a little bit. Like the Calvary. Calvary was very grisly again. There was a place of... Uh, it, 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 was a, it was a death. It was a dying place. And like, like Jesus died, the altar, we, all, we, we ask for forgiveness. We ask God to alter us. And we, we do seek God at, at that dying place. So we, we repent. We have been buried with Him in baptism because it remits sins. And uh, let me go on to the next example. Let's just pretend that this, what I have in my hand beside, beside me here, is a coupon. This coupon, let's just say it's uh, valued for one free chicken dinner. One free chicken dinner. So you can redeem the coupon and get a free chicken dinner. But, however, if you do not have this coupon, then you cannot get a free dinner. Well... So let's say, let's say you do decide to show up at that place for a chicken dinner and you don't have the coupon. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, you, you cannot get the chicken dinner because you do not have the coupon. So although Jesus did die for you and I, that, that application of, of what was done, we have to apply it to our lives. And you can see this in several, in all the accounts in the Bible, in the New Testament following, from Ephesus, uh, Galatia, uh, Philippi, others, Thess Thessalonica, you can see where they were buried with Him in baptism in Jesus' name, uh, the atoning sacrifice, and receiving His Spirit. Paul said, I'm glad I speak with tongues more than you all. And th this is not to be ashamed of. Our most unruly organ in, in our body is our tongue. And so this is not to be ashamed of at all. But we do, we do have the knowledge that without, without the death, the burial, and the resurrection applied to our life, we cannot expect to get the valid goods and the valid, uh, uh, you know, we, we cannot receive the, that without uh, going through that. Uh, so you have the coupon, you can submit it at the register, and you can get your free chicken dinner. So it, it's them supplying the goods, them supplying your dinner. And it's you receiving the dinner. As a sender-receiver, you see the relationship there. You can receive exactly what God has for you only if you apply what the Redeemer wants you to get. So he, He's known as a Redeemer, and you have to submit yourself to Him and uh, ask for His will to be done in your life. Submit to the water baptism in Jesus' name for what is for, for the remission of sins. That He died for you. You have the application applied to your life. The blood of Jesus to your life. And pray. Pray. As a child, you have to receive like childlike faith. God wants to take and submerge you with His Spirit. Like Paul on Paul said to uh, folks uh, on Mars Hill, this is the altar to the unknown God. You, you worship the unknown God. Well, brothers and sisters, Jesus was God manifested in flesh. So he, Paul said to them, this is the unknown God. Won't you seek happily after, he's not too far away from any one of you. So when, when you pray, when you pray today, God's not too far from any one of you today. If you need his spirit, God's here. God's here for you. Just seek after him. And I received God's spirit at an altar. No one was around. I responded to a message, and I, no one was around. I received the gift of the Holy Ghost by myself there after hearing the word. So uh, Jesus, this Resurrection Sunday, was the soldier who laid down his life for us. I encourage you today to fight the good fight of faith. Won't you lay down your life today? And like like the uh, soldier here, the young, uh, responsible, intelligent lieutenant, Sharing, sharing his life. He sacrificed it so that others might live. 
Invite somebody to church. Pray for somebody. Witness the death, the burial, and the resurrection. You know, it's valuable. It's valuable. And so you heard it. Share it with somebody else. And I'll do the same. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye.